September 15th, the new PBS documentary Country Music, a film by Ken Burns, will premiere. The eight-part, 16-hour documentary focuses on the highs and lows of country music's early days and will include many talents from East Tennessee. Todd Steed with WUOT is here to talk more about the documentary and how the radio station is benefiting. Good to see you. Good to see you. To introduce your famous friends here. Well, my famous friends are Jeff Bills and my other famous friend is Mick Harrison. Yes. Good to see you guys. I thought you were actually going to introduce me. Well, um, I, I love how you sit over in the corner and just act like, you know, hey, I'm just here for the Doritos you meatballs. Yeah, they're awesome, by the way. Um, There's yes. meatballs? <laughs> After. Oh. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's talk about this. First yeah. of all, what are your what are your thoughts on the? You probably haven't seen the whole thing yet, but the fact that Ken Burns did a documentary on on kind of the genre or a part of a genre you all play. Well, I have actually seen it. They sent an advanced copy, and uh, it's 16 hours long, so I had to have meatballs and things to help me get yeah. through the whole thing. Did you like it? I absolutely loved it, and I loved the Vietnam one. And but this is my favorite of his music uh, entertainment documentaries. Very cool, and uh, seeing a lot of people here that our viewers recognize. Of course, Dolly Parton uh, started here on Channel 10. Johnny Cash, Garth Brooks going to be at Neyland Stadium soon. Um, and you guys are going to be performing soon, and folks can come out and hear you, right? That's right. We put together a special band just for this special event. Everything's special, Russell. Everything's special. <laughs> the meatballs are special. And it's going to be tomorrow at Barley's, a very special place at noon, a very special time, and it's a free concert. It's at noon. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, most of us will be awake by then. Yeah. That's, that's exciting. I, I can't wait to see which musicians are actually awake. <laughs> and, uh, but it's R.B. Morris, Trisha Jean Brady, Mick Harrison, and a lot of others. And Jeff Bills, unless he gets fired between now and yeah, then, will be there. That's right. And you have a podcast out? Yeah, it's at WUOT.org, and we have the songs that we've commissioned for this project. And we also focus a lot on East Tennessee's country music. And I love, as much as I love the Ken Burns doc, I could have used just a little more East Tennessee. I grew up on the Heartland mm. series, and I have a lot of... You could have used more cowbell if you want to be real honest. Well, I've got some, you know, yeah. for a special <laughs> but, prize. But it is cool what you're doing alongside with the, with the podcast. We've been doing stories on it and, and yeah. that kind of thing, so it really is neat. Okay, what song are you going to play for us? This is a song written by the very famous Mick Harrison. It's called Raised in Knoxville. Mick Harrison. Is he around? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't either. You look like him, though. All right, take it away, fellas.